the truth you may not know about the blood moon the moon suddenly turns red as blood is a special natural phenomenon making people skeptical many people consider it a sign of destruction so what is the concept of blood moon how does it affect the earth and human life a total lunar eclipse is a phenomenon when the moon enters the earth's shadow and its surface turns orange red in the night sky this phenomenon occurs when the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon, and all three are in line with each other. At that time, the Moon turned red-orange in the sky during a total lunar eclipse. In principle, the Moon does not emit light on its own, but receives light from the Sun to reflect it to the human eye on Earth. But when a lunar eclipse occurs, the Earth will block the light from the Sun shining up. The Moon causes it to change color. The light of the sun shining on the moon has seven primary colors created. When the earth obscures this light, only red and orange light with long wavelengths pass through the earth's atmosphere, causing the moon to dye an orange-red color, causing the blood moon phenomenon. On the morning of Saturday, July 28th, people in many places on earth saw the image of the moon as red as blood. Not only can observe the lunar eclipse creating the image of blood moon, People can also see the Delta Aquarius meteor shower at the same time as the lunar eclipse. This is an average meteor shower with about 20 meteors per hour as it crosses the Earth. The best time to observe the meteor shower is confirmed to be from the evening of July 27th to the morning of July 28th. According to astronomers, every 778 days, or every two years and one month, Mars will come close to Earth again. The time of Mars when moving around the Sun is twice that of Earth, so after two years, people can observe Mars well in the sky. Specifically, on the evening of July 27th and early morning of July 28th, Mars reached a direct position relative to Earth, that is, the red planet will be opposite the Sun and Earth. It will be fully illuminated by the Sun and best seen from Earth. Not only is it located close to Earth, but Mars is also closest to us if from 2003 to the present, it emits the brightest light since 2003 until now. Again, in 2003, Mars came closest to Earth in the previous 60,000 years. On the evening of July 27th, the position of Mars was 70.8 million kilometers from Earth. Because Mars is a planet close to Earth, its light does not flicker like other stars. Thus, it is interesting and unique that in a relative period of time, from after 9 p.m. on July 7th to 4 a.m. on July 28th, we have witnessed three natural phenomena at the same time. Amazing nature in the sky, blood moon, meteor shower and Mars. Not long ago, humans witnessed an extremely interesting astronomical event, super moon, when the moon is closest to Earth blood moon and blue moon when the moon is full for the second time two in a month this is an astronomical event that happens once every 150 years it is a rare astronomical phenomenon but absolutely not a bad point on the wired technology news site noah pedro a researcher at nasa's goddard space flight center said the remaining studies and records so far have not seen anything harmful to the Earth when the moon is on the moon. Blood or blue moon appears. And Mr. Fred S. Benuk, another researcher also at the Goddard Space Center said that what is spread that this is a harbinger of the end of humanity is wrong. Such opinions only make amazing natural phenomena become illusory. Previously, an astrologer named Richard Nolo once claimed that the supermoon can affect the weather. To put it simply, the blood moon or blue moon phenomenon occurs during a total lunar eclipse, an interesting astronomical event that humans can track without the help of any observational equipment. The moon will be orange-red, but not because some supreme being is trying to send a message to humanity, but simply because the moon is very close to the Earth. A total lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth is between and in line with the Sun and Moon. At this time, the Earth will cover the light from the Sun to the Moon. The red-orange light with a long wavelength passes through the Earth's atmosphere and shines on the Moon, causing the Moon to turn red-orange, 